Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. In this session, I shall be explaining you a example, a numerical on checksum of UDP header. In my previous video session, I have explained a numerical on UDP header format. This numerical is on the checksum field of the UDP header format. So what can be the question and how to solve this particular question. But for this one, you should know thoroughly what uh, one particular logic or important concept in this UDP. First and foremost thing anyway you all know that it is having four fields source port number, destination port number, total length and this is what the checksum. There is one field consisting of checksum which is having 16 bits reserved. This checksum is not mandatory in UDP. If the sender, if the sender does not want the checksum to get included then what it will do is in this header format, in this header of UDP it will fill this bit with all zeros. All 16 bits will be what? Filled with zeros. 16, all 16 bits will be with zeros and the uh, UDP datagram is, UDP user datagram is sent towards the server side. It is an indication to the receiver that the UK checksum calculation should not be carried out. So, whenever a sender does not want to include checksum, it will fill this checksum filled with all zeros. This is the concept. Now, based on this concept, the questions can be asked. Look at the questions, the question that is asked here. Uh, what is the question? What is the value of the checksum in the following hypothetical situations? Three situations are given. The sender decides not to include the checksum. The first situation is you are going to find out what the value of the checksum in what situation if the sender decides not to include the checksum. The first situation is very straightforward. Whatever is the concept, if the sender does not want to include the checksum, it is going to fill all the field value, all the values, all the bits in that field as zeros. So, here you can write down the value of the checksum is all zeros. So, this is completely based on the concept only. The second situation is the sender decides to include the checksum, but the value of the sum is all ones. Now to write the answer for this, read out the statement, the sender decides to include the checksum. Now the sender is interested in what? Including the checksum. If it wants to include the checksum, there should be some value in the checksum field. But the value of the sum is all ones. What? No. First uh, you have to remember that sum you will get certain value. Fine. When you add up the uh, fields of all the uh, header, pseudo header and the data, you are getting some value. The complement of sum is checksum. Checksum is what? This complement of the value. Value of the sum is all ones. In this second situation, you analyze like this. If the value of the sum is all ones, which is given, then the checksum will be what the complement of the value. So, the checksum will be what all zeros. So, you can write here the answer as the value of the checksum is all zeros. But see here the previous situation, the checksum is all zeros. Then how do you differentiate between these two situations? That is the reason there is one more concept here. In this case, the sender will fill the value of the checksum as all ones. All ones. Actually, in the second situation, the value, the answer is what the checksum field will have all ones. So, you should know the reason why the value of the checksum is all ones because it has resulted in zeros, the value of the sum and the complement of the, the value of the sum is ones, the complement of the sum is checksum which is resulting in zeros, but you have a situation wherein if the sender does not want to calculate the checksum, it is sending all zeros, but here it wants to calculate the checksum, but still if it is getting zeros, so what it will do is it will complement again this one. So, we say double complement, double complement if you carry out for this sum, then you are going to get the correct value of the checksum in the second situation. The third situation is the sender decides to include the checksum, but the value of the sum is all ones, all sorry, all zeros. In this case, sum is what the value, sum is always value which is all zeros. Checksum will all, checksum field definitely you will take the complement and you will try to say that checksum is ones. 
checksum field will have all ones but this is not correct if you write the checksum field as all ones you will not get any mark here the reason is quite obvious look here value of the sum is all zeros do you think that any point of time when you add up the values of all the fields in the header of udp will you be able to get zeros definitely not so this situation will not arise at all in fact the third situation the answer you can write down that in any at any point of time never the value of this sum will be zeros definitely there will be some values in one or the other field take for example pseudo header only without destination port address without source port address you are not going to send any uh, this one you are not going to calculate the checksum so those fields are having non zeros values so never you will get the sum of all the values as zeros so the third situation will not you can write down this situation what will be the answer for this 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 situation will not arise will not arise as you can continue as at any point of time the sum of the value of the sum will never be all zeros so this way you have to analyze a numerical on this kind of question that is on the checksum hope it is useful to you all thank you bye bye take care so this way you are going to analyze the problem and try to write the solution hope the explanation is useful to you all thank you bye bye take care